Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The daily update on the Ukrainian front here. Um, unfortunately, the Russians are slackers today, and um, their article that usually they uh, you know, they come up with with the update is not updated. But I have the Ukrainian uh, update of whatever happened today on the eighth of April, twenty twenty three. So I'm going to use the Ukrainians, so uh, Russians, if you don't have it yet. Uh, <laughs> lack of professionalism. So let's start with the Ukrainians, obviously. So this article comes from Ukraine Forum, and it's from the 8th of April 2023. Ukraine's Air Force delivers eight strikes on Russian positions. Now this is the Russians from the 7th of April 2023, which I covered yesterday, so I'm not going to cover it again. Too bad, my friends, too bad. So, throughout the day, Ukraine's Air Force eight times struck enemy clusters while rocket and artillery forces hit the position of the enemy air defense systems and three E warfare stations. That's according to an evening update by the General Staff of the Armed Forces Ukraine Forum reports. The Russian army continues to focus its main efforts on offensive operations in the Liman, Bakhmut, Avdivka and Marinka directions. Ukraine's defense forces repelled over 35 enemy attacks in the said areas. Yesterday it was 40 uh, enemy attacks in the said area, which is right here. I can use the map because uh, if they didn't update it, at least the cities are still there. Okay, so here it is. Um, Bakhmut, Av Avdivka, Marinka, and I'm assuming this is uh, Liman area here. Now that's, I'm assuming that's where it's at. All right, Russian troops carried out two missiles, two missile and 34 airstrikes, as well as more than 36 attacks using MLRS systems. The general staff emphasizes that the likelihood of further Russian missile and airstrikes remains high throughout the territory of Ukraine. Now, um, it says here, read also, Air Force Commander explains the importance of F-16s. Okay, now, Remiach in Chernihiv region, Serednya, Buda, Baranivka, and some other, other settlements in Sumy region, as well in Kharkiv region, were subjected to enemy shellings. Shelling. So this, they're talking about these three oblasts, Chernihiv right here, Sumy, and Kharkiv. So they were shelled. The Russians yesterday did not show anything. I doubt they show anything now. And now we go here in Kupiansk. Uh, they give uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in of Kharkiv region were hit by Russian artillery in the Kupiansk direction. So they talk about the Russians hitting this area right here. In the Liman direction, a little bit south uh, of this area here. The Russians launched unsuccessful offensive operations in the areas south of Kuzminia and Verkhnyokamianske and then Chern Cherneschinia of Kharkiv region and then Bababababab of Luhansk region and in Spirnia of Donetsk region were hit by enemy artillery. So they say that the artillery, they hit this area with artillery right here. In the direction of Bakhmut, Bakhmut is Artemovsk for the Russians, is right here. Uh, Russian troops pursue their offensive trying to take full control of the city of Bakhmut. Full control. So they took, if it's, uh, they tried to take full control, that means they took most, uh, the control of the most of the city where the fighting continues. During the day, the invaders carried out unsuccessful offensive operations in the area of Bohdanivka. Nearly 10 enemy attacks were repelled by Ukrainian defense forces on the indicated section of the front line. So they're talking about this right here, Artemovsk, Bakhmut. You see, I'm waiting for the Russians to close this thing here and then Bakhmut is gonna be done. Not that I'm waiting, but I expect that to happen. Now, Vasyukivka and some other, I don't know, Chernihiv Yar, Ivanivske, Bilahora, Druzhba of Donetsk region were affected by the Russian shelling. 
I know that Ivanivsky and Shasir Yar are right here. Shasov Yar and this is Ivanivsky somewhere here were hit. So they're uh, shelling by the Russians. Read also. I'm not going to read that because it's about tell us about the fiercest battle on the indicated section of the front continues for Marinka, where Ukrainian defenders repelled more than 10 enemy attacks. Marinka is south of Bakhmut, right here, and Avdivka, right here. That's going to happen the same thing probably as will happen to Bakhmut, will be encircled, I uh, suppose. At the same time, the Russians shelled one, two, three, four, Avdivka, you know, that one, Marinka, in Donetsk region. So they also shelled this area right here. The Russian army conducted no offensive operation in Shaktarsk direction. At the same time, the invaders shelled one, two, three, four, Vukhledar, four, six, seven, and in Donetsk region. So they did not conduct offensives. Ukhledar is right here, which is Vukhledar for the Ukrainians. But they uh, shelled this area they were talking about. So they go with the front from north to south, actually from uh, northeast, east, and then south right here. They're going to end up in Kherson and Zaporozhye. Now they're going to go to Zaporozhye discussing whatever happened over there, right here. In the Zaporozhye and Kherson directions, the one that I showed, like southeast and south. Russian troops continue to build up defensive lines and positions in terms of their further fortification. Settlements bordering the battle line, battle line were hit by enemy artillery. Among those shelled are, and they give us a lot of uh, um, settlements here in Zap of Zaporozhye region as well as Kherson. According to the general staff, Russian invaders continue to suffer significant losses to replenish their units. The Russian command decided to hold early graduation from higher military educational facilities in Moscow, St. Petersburg, Kostroma, Penza, Omsk, Tumen, Kazan, blah, 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 blah. I don't believe that because if they had early graduation, the graduations are from higher military, that means officers. They don't need officers. They need uh, people to go and get the AK-47 and get the, um, over there and fight. It's been established that graduation from facilities which prepare specialists for military units of strategic missile forces, aerospace forces and naval forces will be held in accordance with previous planned schedules. As you can from reported earlier, the air defense forces destroyed the Supercam re reconnaissance drone operated by Russian invaders in Mykolaiv region. So this is what's going. Mykolaiv is right here. I think it's Nikolaev, this area right here. So this is the update coming from the Ukrainians only. Un uh, unfortunately, why do I say unfortunately? Because I don't like to use only one side of the story when we have at least two here and the other one would have been the russians but the russians are slackers but let me just try to go back here and see maybe the russians uh did some work and maybe updated that bs it says here clearly yesterday nah nothing so whenever you guys update your shit i will use it otherwise i will go with the ukrainians uh facts all right thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just